How do you do? Welcome to my channel. The name of this poem is Another Walk. I walk again this wooded pathway where we strolled together in that long ago. Things look so different through two pair of eyes and feel so different through completing souls. The scent of woodland flowers in the air then painted sensual textures on our skin. I thrilled as my arm brushed against your own, and when you turned your face up toward my lips, you smiled so sweetly at the things I said. The fragrance of your breath outdid the rose. A soft breeze drifted past us, and your hair caressed my face and lit some inner flame. Westward the sky showed lightning, soft display, and thunder rolled and rumbled across the way. I bent my head. You offered me your mouth. Oh, what a flood of feelings touched our soul. But yet another flood came o'er our skin as nature opened wide the heaven's gates, burst open clouds, and water fell in sheets. The cabin of a trapper, long since dead, lay just across the creek and offered us some shelter from the storm that raged around, as though each demon strove to rip our clothes from our wet skin, now suddenly so cold, that goosebumps chased the color from our skin and made our teeth to speak like castanets. A flash flood tore with fury down the stream and made a nightmare from a pleasant dream. The stream, now with a river's mighty force, tore trees from banks and boulders from their rest. Hail cracked to the hand huge shakes upon the roof, imparting autumn's cold upon our wet and shivering skin and killed our will to speak. The one-room cabin with the tetched lean-to contained the remnants of a bearskin rug. My numb and shivering hands could scarcely move to help you shed your wet and dripping dress, and my own shirt and pants, but shed we did and wound ourselves together in the skin. Where soon we found the chill was past and gone, Oh, how the temperature of life can change in ways exciting, sensuous, and strange. Oh, how those years can flee across one's life. Oh, how the ones we love can fade away through time's erosion as the years we have become the years we had and never can be reclaimed as the starry galaxies still wheel unchanged across the empty sky. How cold this path becomes as I alone now walk the paths we walked so long ago. The rounded mound of earth I stood before as liquid grief streamed down my chiseled face and wet the clods beneath which now you lie, my sweetheart, wife, and soulmate from that day. I see one lonely hawk against the sky. He shares the solitude in which I cry. I hope you enjoyed this poem. Come back to see me. Goodbye.